What's up for today? An unexpected surprise, another Dr. Selby shaving cream. Hello again, Michael Friedrich here from beautiful and searingly hot North Carolina. Today I have but one shaving product for review. It is an unexpected delight. It is the Dr. Selby Refreshing Shaving Cream. This was kindly sent to me by a person who had hoped people to gift it to me in person at the Maggard Razors meetup, but unfortunately I couldn't make it. So he sent the shaving cream along with a very interesting Chinese floral or Florida water, which I'm skipping for this week and you'll soon see why. I'm gonna be using this shaving cream. This is the second Dr. Selby product that I've used. The first was like a unicorn soap, as you well know. This was kind of even more so because I, you sort of see this around, but I've not really seen it for sale. So thank you once again, you know who you are. I really appreciate the soap and it's gonna be another wonderful shave for today. I'm gonna to wet my face. I'm gonna be using the fine, the fine Marvel for today with the Gillette Wilkinson sword blade. We'll get to that in a moment. But first, let's talk about the soap. This is supposedly a mentholated soap. It is. Well, if it is mentholated, you really can't tell. It is, uh, there's no menthol sensation that I can detect. There's no uh, burst of cooling. There's, there's just none of that. Um, refreshing in use, I guess so. But um, the box, the original box says, as you can see, at the back here, what it says, crema de afietar mentolata. Well, if it is mentholated, I really couldn't tell. It is a delightful green color, which will remind you maybe of the palm olive. It is like the hard soap, a very concentrated cream. So the first day I used three or four times too much and just had a mountain of lather. I have not repeated that mistake since. It is a metal tube. So if you are traveling, I'm just gonna squeeze out a tiny amount and apply that to either side. If you are traveling with this tube, please note it is metal and it can easily crimp or become dented or even split open so just bear that in mind and as you may have noticed i was squeezing it from the bottom not from the middle like some wild animal ant smith all right here we go i'm going to be using the uh the yaki i'm gonna start lathering up then i'll put the razor together and we'll talk about the blade when that happens this should be plenty now i'm going to start off just kind of gently painting and then I'm going to start splitting the brush so you don't make a big mess up first. As you can see, no issues starting to build a lather at all. There's still quite a bit of moisture in the brush. But we'll add a bit in just a moment. As you can see, it started to drip a little bit down below. That's just moisture coming out of the brush. This soap is what I would describe as uh, a little bit sensitive to water in the sense that if you use too much, you're going to get a very runny lather. And this brush, I think probably because of the size, even though you shake it out, can hold quite a bit of water in the knot. Scent-wise, it just has a kind of a very light, clean, soapy, slightly kind of cologne scent to it. There we go. That has a very nice, slick feel in the face already. All right, rinse my hands and let's get shaved and put the razor together. Yeah, this has what I would describe as a very mild, light, menthol feel to it if at all it's just a a a touch shall we say all right so this is the fine marvel the blade for today is the gillette wilkinson sword um, these were sent along with the soap and the uh the other aftershave this is the first time in a long time i've actually had a blade a bum blade come out of the pack so the, the blade before this whatever reason one side of it just was completely off it just Terrible, tuggy, rough, bad, other side, perfectly fine. So swapped it out after that shave. 
and this one seems to be no issues. You all know my uh, my feelings about the fine marble. Beautiful razor. This is a very nice slick cream, by the way. As you can see, very easy to lather. You really don't need a lot. If you like a lot of lather, you just want a bigger, thicker, slightly denser, more pasty lather, just use more and start off with a lot less water. As always, two days of growth, I haven't shaved since Friday morning. It's midday on Sunday, high noon or thereabout. Very easy to use. Now, there are some things to note about the soap. Like I said, if it is mentholated, it is very lightly so. And the other thing is, as slick as that cream is, and as easy as it is to lather, in terms of residual slickness, when you're shaving, do not shave over a spot where there is no lather. The soap is, in terms of residual slickness, it's really not there until you get your face wet again. So if you're a person who likes to shave over a spot, again and again, where there is no lather, I think that's going to end poorly. There is just none of that uh, residual slickness really there. I really do like to feel the cream on the face, so it's got a nice kind of fundamental slickness to it. Brush is moving smoothly over my skin. It's always a good sign. There we go. The other thing I've noticed about this soap, by the way, and this is this reminds me a bit of the Prorasso tub, is that, and this is different for every soap, it's a little bit scummy in the water, because I shave with a sink full of water, and when you drain the sink, the hair that remains behind is a little bit stuck to the side of the sink. Some soaps are very slick when you rinse the sink and it just whoosh, comes clean. This reminds me quite a bit of the uh, Parasso in the tub. All right, this is the across the grain. I am using the, the microphone cover, which is kind of a very large gray fuzzy cover on top of the mic. So I'd be curious to know if this uh, audio sounds a little less echoey or boomy than last time. Audio from last week sounded fine to me. In fact, it sounded a little more, a little more natural than the regular mic I use. Not a dramatic difference, but at least to me, I could tell a difference. So I'd be curious to know what your feedback is for this week. I made a little bit of a stand for it because the, the mic popped into a holder, to a little, little plastic holder that normally would screw on top of a camera, but I don't have a camera that it screws into, so I've made a little base with a, uh, with a nut or a bolt. Keeps it nice and steady. Perfect fit for the bathroom size there. Yeah, very nice feel to this cream. And the way the cream works is another good reason to keep your uh, keep your razor good and wet. See right there, unless there's a bit of extra lather, don't shave over that. All right, quick and easy. Let's go ahead and hit pass number three. So when you're rinsing right, right there, Although there is residual slickness, there's also a little bit of tightness, and we'll talk about that for the post-shave. Pass number three, there should be plenty of lather. And that may look thin, 
or a little bit light, but not to worry, that is a very good slick layer of soap and you really don't need much more than that. I'm going to squeeze out the remainder because this brush tends to hold on to quite a bit. You can see there, very nice looking lather. This is the only, and I, I want to say issue because it just sounds bad because it's not really an issue, it's just something you have to deal with. This brush tends to hold on to a lot of lather, so, you know, easily taken care of, but something to note. Sometimes you get new wet shavers that are posting about, ooh, that almost fell into the sink. Um, new wet shavers who post about the fact that it feels like the brush is just kind of pushing lather around on their face, not really going on their face, and that's because the lather is kind of stuck inside the brush. And so, in some cases, you have to add a bit more water, you have to maybe agitate a bit more, you have to splay a bit more, or just squeeze it and bring some more of that lather to the, uh, to the top or to the front. All right, last pass. This is the only spot where I feel like these blades are a little duller than I would like. That's I think a matter of longevity. I've been shaving with this since Wednesday, so this is shave number four. I just feel like the edge is just not really holding together. It's, it was very comfortable for the first couple shaves. But this razor, which is generally speaking very comfortable on the against the grain pass with this particular blade, just doesn't feel quite as good. So the smart thing to do there is not to continue to shave over the same spot, but if you feel like you're not quite getting the close shave that you want, is rather than sort of buff against something that feels rough and uncomfortable, lather up for a fourth pass. Easy. Yeah, the only downside to this razor that I can really see is the fact that, yes, there is some overhang. All right, I'm going to call it quits right there. Now, if I wanted to, like I said, I would just lather up down here again and make just a very light, long, simple strokes. I'm not going to bother to do so for today. Now, let's talk rinsing and push shave. You hear that? That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign in the sense that your skin is already dry and you kind of have that squeaky like when you really really wash your hair and you get kind of squeaky hair which for your hair often is a very good thing but on your face like this this is a pretty drying if not a very drying soap post shave for this i would describe as minimal yeah yeah that is Uh, that's tight and for the day that I because I always experiment at least one day and I do it I think I only did it one day this week if you let this go you're going to experience some very noticeable tightness and dryness I mean you can see what's already happening just very tight and very dry so if you're looking for like a really solid skin nourishing post shave out of this soap that is not going to be the case so if that's what you're looking for in this particular soap that that's not going to happen it doesn't really matter though because I'm going to be applying this beautiful alcohol-based aftershave, the Epsilon Blue Mediterranean that I got as part of my Christmas in July secret Santa set of gifts. Uh, I was going to use the Chinese flora water or Florida water that came with the Dr. Selby, but my wife was so happy to see this come in the package that I said, all right, you know what, I'll swap it out for this week. 
I'll use the Florida floor water for next time. This is cooling and refreshing. I believe this does contain menthol. And I have to say that if you asked me about it's kind of the quintessential aftershave feel and scent combination, the Floyd Blue or Epsilon Blue would be in my top three. Something like the Floyd Suave and the Fine Aftershaves, well, depending on the scent, but the face feel, just such a classic hit of alcohol, a touch of menthol. This has a little bit of like slightly slick feel to it. This is one of the few aftershaves once I put on, um, a real splash, I rinse my hands because I think there's a touch of glycerin there as well. Ooh, wow, that feels very refreshing. All right. Well, I would say not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, that soap is slick, a little bit low in the protective side because it just doesn't have that kind of density or fattiness to it. And post-shave wise, yeah, that's, that's not the word that excels at all. But you know what it is? It is a refreshing shaving cream from Uruguay, from Dr. Selby, that I did never really expect to be able to get my hands on. So thank you once again for sending this off. It's a tiny little tube. It's 50 grams. It's a great addition to the den, and I really appreciate the opportunity to use this. It's just a nice thing to have in there. Very easy to lather, very good slickness, medium to low protection compared to many other soaps. And in terms of post-shave, quite dry, so just take a note of that. That does not matter in my case because I'm splashing on this delicious, man, I just love this stuff, Epsilon Blue Mediterranean. Love the face feel, love the cooling. Fantastic set, which I and my wife both love, so that is a great combination. Highly recommend it. If you're wondering why I didn't get the big bottle, it was a secret Santa gift. I didn't want to ask for the giant bottle. I wanted to go for the slightly smaller one. Plus, since you're cycling them in and out, you just have this big bottle kind of sitting there. That smaller size makes a lot more sense to me. My dear friend, the fine Marvel, what an excellent, excellent razor. Just love this razor, just, just a great fit. And if you don't like this handle, well, you can always put another handle on there because it's a standard screw size. So anyway, great razor. Wilkinson Sword, the Gillette Wilkinson Sword blades are okay for me. Not great, but okay. Um, and just after a couple shaves, time to move on to the next, uh, the next one. And let's close off with this monster Yaki brush, big synthetic brush. I think it's a 30 millimeter knot. Very easy to use, holds onto a lot of water, splays quite easily, works with every kind of soap that I've used with it. Thumbs up, just, yeah, excellent, excellent option for the uh, for a large synthetic brush. Well, my friends, we've come to the end once again. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these videos. As always, please feel free to leave a comment or question against this video or any previous video. I think I'm almost completely caught up. There may be some comments that have rolled in since I made that last pass on them. I will 100% get to those, so please keep the questions and comments coming. Thank you again so much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.